Oi, oi, pessoal. Welcome to week four. Vamos lá. We started off the week with a guest lecture at Pukki from Tulane professor Christopher Dunn with a special guest and Brazilian musician Tom Zé. Later, we grabbed Lebanese food at an outdoor food court. Sao Paulo has a large population of Lebanese immigrants. The next day, we had a site visit at o Museo Afro Brasil, which showcases Afro Brazilian culture and art. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take any videos inside. We ended our afternoon with another sunset at Parque Ibira Puera. This week in our free time, we also went to o Museo das Culturas Indígenas, where we learned about indigenous culture and resistance in Brazil. For the 4th of July, we ordered hamburgers and milkshakes from a restaurant in our neighborhood. Then we explored a nearby park, Parque Agua Branca. We ended the night listening to a performance by Luisa Homal, an award-winning slam poet who touched on inequalities in Brazil. The performance was accompanied by a sound effects specialist that made the experience even more profound. On Friday night, we sang karaoke with our Brazilian roommates. We even learned a new favorite Brazilian song. On Saturday morning, we had lunch in Liberdade before running into Festival das Estrelas, a Japanese festival commemorating the seventh day of the seventh month of the year. We spent our evening at the Pinacoteca do Estado, one of the most important art museums in Brazil. We love this museum because the art explored themes of colonialism, race and gender, and Brazilian identity. restoration room where paintings were getting refurbished. Sunday was a beach day. We took public transport to Guaduja, a beach town outside of Sao Paulo. Although the day was a bit cloudy, it was still nice to get out of the city and enjoy time in nature. Our highlight was eating 24 mini pastais. Até logo!